I remember a party at Iris' place. There was a big bed, but there wasn't a mattress in the bed. The bed was made of dildos. It was like we were all outcasts. None of the things you assume of her are true, but she's such a warm person and she's such a mother. What I can give people is that I make them feel special. Ira, she was well known. She was a very skilled mistress. We had 3,000 people watching and lots of people were shocked. There is nothing wrong if you have a fetish. It's kind of a family. My mother was always a lot more fun than other mothers. She has a strong willpower. She dares. For me, it's more like a creative job. And the more you like the person, the more pleasure you have in hurting them. And then I chose the name Lucrezia of Lucrezia de Borgia. She was one of the first women who really made a difference. And she set about expertly tying me down. And work was work. It had nothing to do with sex. You were a tring, really in another world. Over the 11 years that I've been doing this, never had anything happen. A moment when you face death, you cannot really believe what's happening because it all seems so unreal. The whole media jumped on the story. And I was not allowed to speak about what really happened. It was the headline, dominatrix sentenced for murder. The reporters keep coming and take photographs. Everything has to be investigated. She could be punished for years or she could go free. Wow, this is really... I cannot speak a word. that somebody who has known the depths of pain has the capacity to bring healing to the wounded. Because the setback is sometimes necessary to open your eyes and then you have to find the strength inside you to do something with your life. I made a decision I'm going to stay on this path and I leave the path from before behind. In a way, I think having sex with people fucks it up. 